Hey everyone, my name is Marcus Felling and I'm a PM from our developer division here at Microsoft. Today I'm going to be talking about testing modern web apps at scale with the new Microsoft Playwright testing service. I'll touch very quickly on the open source Playwright test framework, write a test for the Contoso Traders app. I'll touch on the growing pains of running tests at scale. Then I'll walk through getting started with Microsoft Playwright testing and leveraging it to scale our tests. So if you aren't already familiar with the open source Playwright testing framework, go check out playwright.dev to get started. It's important to understand the basics before we move on to the testing service that's built on top of the open source framework to understand why you'd want to use it. Next, I'll start from scratch in VS Code using the Playwright extension, which is all documented on playwright.dev. So I'll start by installing the extension and I have VS Code open in an empty folder. I can run the install playwright commandlet, and that'll walk me through a wizard. I'll select Chromium, Firefox, and WebKit. And the extension prepares everything I need to run tests, including the browsers, configurations, and example tests. I can now run tests through the test explorer or inside the test file itself by simply pressing the play button. All right, let's create a new test using the recorder and we can test the open source Contoso Traders testing application. A new browser window gets launched that we can perform actions in while the test code is generated for us. So I'll create a test to add an item to the cart and then use discount codes. I'll start with a discount code that I know is valid. And it looks like that worked, replacing discount 15. Uh, and then next, I'll try a discount code that I know shouldn't work, so discount 20. All right, so we can see the test code that got generated. Uh, let's run through this test to make sure that it's working. Okay, cool. Next, let's refactor to better organize our tests. So rather than having one long test, we can break this up. Um, I want to test multiple discount codes so we can set those as variables for both valid and invalid. Uh, and then before we, uh, before the test case is run, let's use a before each hook to navigate to the product page and add it to the cart to kind of do setup. And finally, let's add test cases for invalid and valid, breaking them up uh, along with some assertions. All right, and it looks like they're passing. We have our first couple test cases here. So as you can imagine, the number of test cases can grow pretty quickly. And if we fast forward a bit, my team has created hundreds of tests. So most of these tests here in this example are available in the open source uh, Contoso Traders repository. Definitely go, go check it out. It's under the Microsoft org forward slash Contoso traders dash cloud testing. We have tests for um, testing the shopping cart, the APIs, file uploads, visual regression tests, emulation, mocking, authentication, um, the list goes on. Lots of cool tests. However, if we wanna run the entire test suite, it's painfully slow as my developer workstation can only run so many tests in parallel before it eats up all of its resources. I also wanna run the test in GitHub Actions for every PR change, which is a pretty big bottleneck since it takes over 30 minutes. If tests fail, I have to check in a potential fix and wait another 30 minutes if I fix it the first time. This is where Microsoft Playwright testing can help us run tests at scale. 
we'll be able to run our test suite faster across OS browser combinations to expand test coverage, and it supports the latest features offered by the open source Playwright framework. All right, so this is how it works. We continue to run tests in our IDE and CI system executed by the Playwright test runner, but instead of using resource-hungry browsers locally, our tests connect to fully managed browsers that run at high levels of parallelism. All right, let's head over to the docs to get started. I already have an Azure subscription, so I can go directly to the Playwright portal. I'll log in and then create a new workspace. We can name it Ignite 2023, and I'll select the closest region to me where the test data will be stored. All right, so there's four really easy steps. We copy and paste the config file to the same directory where our tests live, set two environment variables, and then when we run tests, we can pass an argument to point to the new config file. All right, so I've added the new config file here. I prefer to use a .env file to store my environment variables rather than setting them at the command line every time. Um, so I have that set. Uh, and then on line 30, we can see the connect options that use the WebSocket endpoint of the service to connect to the remote browsers. All right, so this is that .env file I mentioned. I set the two environment variables here. Uh, and this file is get ignored uh, as I wouldn't want to check this in to source control uh, as it has secrets. All right, we're all set. Let's run some tests at the terminal, passing the new additional config argument along with 50 workers that will all execute in parallel to speed up the execution. And you can see all 1200 tests are being run. And for demo purposes, we'll fast forward a bit, but you can see it only took two minutes. All right, next let's set up GitHub Actions so we can leverage this for all of our PRs. So we're using the hosted runner that comes with two cores, along with the official Playwright container image that comes with the browsers and dependencies baked in. We set the two environment variables by using secrets. And finally, we add the additional config argument. And here we have a GitHub Actions run with all of these changes in place. And this took us from the 30 minutes down to only four. So we can now run these tests for every PR more efficiently, ensuring we catch issues sooner in the development lifecycle. If we head back to the portal where we created the workspace, we're able to see an activity log of all the test runs, along with how long they took and how many workers were used. And finally, on the right-hand side, we have links to all the documentation for all the steps I just went through. If you're completely new to Playwright, go check out playwright.dev to get started and join in on the active Discord community. If you want to try Microsoft Playwright testing, you can go to aka.ms forward slash mpt forward slash try. Thank you for watching. Happy testing.